Hey guys, it's your librarian, Matthew Smith here. I'm sure you're all getting used to working away from campus, and at the library, we are doing our absolute best to make sure you can access as many of our resources as possible. To that end, we've just taken on a new subscription for a resource that I think is going to be really, really helpful for all of you studying medicine. And I wanted to do a quick video just to show you how it works. So, on the portal, if you come over to the library, you hopefully will already know that from the library homepage you can access all of the databases that we have access to, a full list, click on any of these and you'll be able to access them from home or from anywhere around the world. Now the new resource that we've just taken on is called Clinical Key. It's a huge collection of ebooks from Elsevier who are one of the big publishers in medical books. This includes big textbooks like Kumar and Clark, Davidson's, um, Rang and Dell, there's so much in there. So if you come through to your find databases and you click on C for clinical key, I'll come down, it should be alphabetical, so we'll see, here we go, clinical key, and you'll see the little new badge next to it. So 1st of April, open to absolutely everyone that's affiliated to UEA. If I click on clinical key, excuse me, that should pull up the website for me. Now when you first come on, what you'll need to do is just sign in. So you won't be using an email and password here, you'll be going for login via your institution. So if I click on that, it will take me through to a screen and ask me where I'm from. So if I just pop in Anglia, East Anglia pops up, UEA, click onto that, and you'll either be prompted to log in with your normal UEA username and password, or if like me, you've already logged in today, you'll be pushed straight through to the resource and you'll have access to everything. So I can search up at the top here, but more likely I'll be looking for the books to see what we've got access to, so there's popular ones that pop up straight away, but I can say show more or I can browse all books, and you'll see a list here, and you'll see that it runs to 28 pages of content we've just unlocked. If there's anything in there you want to have a look at, you click on the title, Let's see, this pulls it up and it will tell me all of the different sections of the book so I can skip straight to the area that I'm interested in. Acknowledgements was probably not the smartest <laughs> section to click on, but in any case, you, you get the idea. It jumps you through to the section of the book. Let me see if I've got a good section here we can use as an example. Brilliant. So what we'll have here is you will find that there is integrated, here we go, integrated images and you'll be able to click out on these in places. There'll be videos, different bits of content that help you get more of the book. You'll see also little play buttons where there are maybe text, uh, sorry, speech to, to look at. Basically, this is a kind of enhanced ebook experience. So even if you're used to accessing some of the titles that are through Elsevier, those will now give you an enhanced ebook package. So it's, it's not just that we've got access to 240 plus ebooks, we've actually got better access than we've had previously. Now, there's a uh, clinical key app, so if you're not at your computer a lot and you want to download that for your phone, you can do that through most of the app stores. So, if you're on Apple or on Android, you should find it on Windows Phone. That gives you all of the same content. You can also organize, so you'll see up here you've got a bookshelf, so you're able to collect together books that you've been reading. I'm not sure for me it's going to have anything in here because I've only been having a play around with this today. It, it, it unlocked for us today. But it gives you a nice space to collect together the books. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so these are a few of the things I've been looking at. And it will let you continue reading where you last left off. So I hope this looks interesting to you guys. Of course, if you have any trouble, always let me know. Um, Matthew Smith. So my email is matthew.j.smith at uea.ac.uk. Equally, if there are things you can't find while we're away from campus, either in this collection or just more generally, you can always let me know. I'm always looking at how we can get the resources to you. Not always possible. Publishers won't always have the ebooks or the, the resources available electronically. But where they do, we do our absolute best to get them in for you. Okay, so that's your update. Uh, take care of yourself, everyone, and I um, hope it's going all right for you.